turn it back on, you guys. Hello, you guys. Um, uh, like, what is that? But it's part of my shirt. All right, as promised, I am here to show you guys how to make some jasmine cake pops, and this is my mess here. Please just ignore all of this crap. Don't do my toes. I wouldn't know the Okay, so this is a live. Anybody coming across my YouTube channel, it is all live, so there is no editing. And I am literally, let me show my face really quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm tired, so please ignore. I don't know, sometimes my words aren't going to come because I'm tired, okay? So... <laughs> We're going to be making some cake pops and some apples. Okay, so these are for Emma's birthday party is tomorrow. So I'm making just a few. I haven't finished them yet, but this is one of them here. And then an apple. Look at that glitter. Okay, so I have you close up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to do all of them, but I want to show you really quick. The process okay so we're gonna start with some molds so so I had bought all these molds because I wasn't sure what was going to fit so I had this one this one I had bought this one because I like this one here and then this one I haven't even opened up these are all from lavender bake shop I'll leave a link um, in the description once I'm done for the ones I use and then I got this one. This is this is the one I'm using for the caramel apple. It's big. And I have coloring because I've been working. So, all right. So, the one I ended up using for this one right here is this one. So, I'll leave a link for you guys in case you, you want to get this one. I did like this one, but it's a little too big. Um, for the cake pop so I ended up using this one okay so we're gonna start I already have some made so it's not like I just want to show you guys how easy they are to 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 use so this is satin ice this is a color turquoise okay and um, I kind of just started to use satin ice a lot because I'm using more fondant nowadays, so um, I like buying the big buckets. Before I would buy the small ones from Fat Daddy Ols. But I'm starting to use fondant way, way more. So that's why I'm buying the bigger buckets now. Okay, so gonna need your fondant. If you're having a lot of issues with your fondant sticking on you, oh, where'd it go? Um, it's probably because your hands are sweaty or just wet or, or just super warm. So just use some powdered sugar or cornstarch and it'll help you kind of manage it better. Or you can put gloves on. Um, also, it depends on the type of fondant you are working with. Some some fondants are super, just super sticky. So if you're having issues, it's probably one of those two things or three things that I mentioned. So I'm literally going to use my finger and just kind of scrape it and kind of just try to put everything in because fondant I know it's intimidating for some but honestly it's not that hard like it shouldn't be hard once you get the hang of it it's they're pretty easy so like I said if it's giving you a headache it's probably your hands are too warm or you just have fondant that is just super super sticky so I literally just pull it out and see how easy and I didn't put anything in here it just came out okay so once we have this here, to add some, let me do the other, let me do the big one for the apple, just so you guys can see. Um, so we're going to do this one here. Fondant doesn't like me. It will like you. It's just probably the, the brand you're using or something. For me, Wilton and Satin Eyes, they work pretty well. Like, it doesn't stick to me. All right, so I'm going to do the big one for the big apple. What are you guys doing up? Are you guys working or you guys can't sleep? Because right here, it's about to be 11, I think. And you guys, you can use this too to help you out. To help you manage so you don't have to touch it a lot. 
But this is just to show you guys. I already have my molds made. So this is kind of just to show you. Okay, I'm probably missing a little bit right there. I can put more. Can't sleep. It's one at it's one a.m. What are you doing up, Amparo? Not working, just hanging in, can't sleep. Oh, you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it. This is my alone time. My me time. <laughs> Alright, and this is it right here. I'm working on some center pieces. Okay. Okay, so those are the two. And then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to use some of these, the Genie Bottle, for some of my apples. I am only making eight apples. So, um... I'm going to do four with genie bottles and then four of these. So four and four. So I already have three made. So I'm going to make one more. Because honestly, when I looked at it, let me find the mold though. Where did it go? Right here. So this one here. The, it's it's pretty easy, guys. Like if you have the right fountain and the right mold, it should be easy. So this one here, it was kind of intimidating. Like this part right here, I look at it. Ignore my nails, you guys. <laughs> I look at it, I'm like, oh man, like it's gonna be hard to take out, you know, because it's super thin there. And this right here is super, like, just super thin. But I was kind of impressed with the mold. I was like, oh, it's pretty easy. So let me get some fondant. So I'm gonna be using yellow um, satin ice. And I use yellow, sometimes I use white, you guys. But um, yellow kind of helps the gold, because I'm gonna paint it gold. Um, helps it just pick up better the, the highlighter so um, we're gonna do yellow all right so I'm gonna knead it a little bit so it's not it doesn't have those rough edges and it kind of just super smooth and then I'm gonna grab some and just start inserting it in there and then just make sure that you go all the way here and cover all of that I know it looks like a big old blob, but like right here, this part here, you want to make sure you get it. That there's enough fondant, not like super thin. It looks packed in there. I haven't bought fondant online. I'm going to use my roller because my hands are kind of getting um, warm. I usually buy all my fondant on, on, on locally at my local supply store. So I cleaned it off, right? So I kind of removed all of that. I have all this excess right here, so I'm going to use my fondant roller to kind of just clean it up a little bit. So I'm putting pressure and just kind of swiping it. And then I'm going to use my finger and kind of clean off. So it looks pretty clean. I'm going to get some of this excess. All of this doesn't matter, you guys, but just pay attention to the bottle. So it looks pretty packed in there, right? It looks It looks good. So... This right here is going to give you a little bit of a hard time, but not like where it drives you crazy. It's pretty easy overall. This part here comes out super easy. Like literally, I had no issues taking it out. Like it comes out, like it doesn't rip. This part right here is going to get tricky. So you want to come back here and with like your finger kind of pull it out or else you're going to kind of like distort it. But overall, it's an easy mold. Like, even though I'm having, like, I just literally pull it. And right there, it's going to want to get stuck. So I just come back here and kind of just pull it. And then I just kind of do this. But overall, like, it's a pretty easy mold. Not like, oh my god, it keeps breaking. I have to keep doing it over and over again. Like, it was, it was pretty simple. I liked it. Um, some brands do get dry up, especially if you don't wrap it up fine. Satin Ice, I don't have that problem. Wilton, I like the Wilton bags that it comes with. You know, the it looks like foil. I don't know. Um, those keep my, the fondant really, really good in there. Um, but like when I buy the small bottle, sometimes they do dry up too fast for me. But you just have to make sure you keep like wrap them really, really good. Or else if air is hitting them, they will dry it. Okay, so I have some, so I have the pieces here, right? So we already did some. That's all I'm going to show you guys because, or else I can be here all night. All right, so the next step, I 
I'm going to do the disco dust. So it is disco dust. Okay, so this right here. This is Peacock. And it is from the Sugar Art. Okay, this is a non-toxic, not edible stuff. You're not okay with using that. I don't know if they have... I know they have the, the little spray bottle nowadays that it's like 100% edible, they say. Or FDA approved. I don't know if they have blue though. So you guys can look that up if that's something that you want to look up. Okay, so I'm going to be using some edible glue that I'm running low on. So this is edible glue. If you don't have edible glue, you can use piping gel. Or you can even use water. Just be careful with the water that you don't add too much, okay? And I'm going to be using some brushes. So this um, edible glue is from Little Honey's Cakery Edible Glue. I'll get the link for you guys and I'll post it once I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Don't pay attention to my glue too much because it's getting, looks kind of funky. <laughs> So I'm going to add a little bit of glue where I want my disco dust. You don't want to add too much glue, but just where I want the disco dust to um, attach uh, here. So just in the middle, right? So then you can, I was trying to do this. I kind of like do this and then brush off, but that was too much work. So I ended up using a brush to pick up the disco dust. It's a dry brush. It doesn't have anything, but because it's, I'm going to start going like this, it's going to pick up the glue. So it's going to start getting like icky and, you know, just icky. <laughs> but, um... I like the brush better than the other way I was doing it. So I'm going to pick up some, 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 um, this goes and I'm just going to start patting it. You don't want to brush it because it's just going to not adhere and it's not going to look as pretty. So I'm just dabbing and kind of like just dabbing the disco dust. And it, it, like I said, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, it's going to start like picking up all the disco dust on, on your brush, but it still picks up and drops it so you can clean it here and there but and I'm sorry like my OCD people that this is bothering you guys I'm sorry I probably should put gloves on for you guys <laughs> but it won't kind of focus to kind of too close but you guys get it right so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to pick up the big one. And hopefully, not with this brush, I'm going to pick up to get some edible glue. And I'm going to paint here. I mean paint. Put the edible glue on that. Okay. And then I'll grab my brush. Pick up some disco dust. And tap. Tap, dab. And if your um, brush starts getting like really clumpy, then just uh, get a napkin and kind of just wipe it and then just start clean again. Because right here, I, like right there is kind of getting like icky and gooey because my brush is just, um, it's getting too wet. So I don't have a napkin, so I'm going to use my wax paper that I have here and kind of just clean it a little bit. So I cleaned it off just a little bit. I'm going to pick up more disco dust. And just dab. I'm going to show you guys the other way just in case you guys don't like this and you guys are like, nah, dinner, this is kind of not, I don't like this. It's taking too long. I'll show you the other way right now. I do have extra. So I kind of like that. This will, the edible glue will dry, just, you have to give it a couple of minutes for it to really dry. So let me, actually, I, why did I close this? I didn't need to close it. So let me show you the, the other way that I was, that I did it the first time, but I was like, nee. I'm going to add glue again. Okay. And then, I'm going to have to go get napkins because I don't want to waste my... Or wax paper, where, oh, that has so much paper here. Kimberly, I'm going to need you. And I'm going to, I'm trying to find the, oh, here's the lid. So this is what I did the first time. Trying to watch my bathroom again. 
I'm sorry. Can you warm up the chocolate for me? Oh, this? No, just this one. Can you do like a... Just do like 15 seconds. And then I grabbed it here and then I just dumped it. Then you want Huh? Then you want Yeah, there's 25 people on. <laughs> I was like, I don't know who's going to get on because it's kind of late. So like that, I dumped it on it and it looks easier. Like, okay, well that was easier. Hold on. But it, like 15 seconds. But then I have to come in here and kind of just shake off all the, like, see all that excess? I didn't. And then you're going to have to clean off, like, if it went on the edges here, you're going to have to, like, clean it off with a dry brush. I don't have a dry brush with me right now, but you have to, like, dry, um, clean it off, basically. So you can do this way if this is what you find easier. You probably can't see that it's on the edges, but it is on the edges. Like, right there, it's okay. everywhere right there. So I would just come with a clean brush and just swipe off all of that. And then this, you would just, thank you. Uh, actually, actually, come here. Oh that's the last thing. That's the last thing. Can you bring me the apples? They're over there. And All of them? Yeah. Put them back here on the rack and I'll just, and I'll just get them there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, for me, oh crap, I didn't even aim. For me, I don't know. I like the brush. But maybe for other people, they just find this easier. So I thought I would show you guys both. Okay. So we are done adding the disco dust. I'm going to close this up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, crap. Okay. So let's attach. Actually, let me dip a cake pop. I already have some dipped here. But I know you guys want to see the straw. You guys want to see everything. So I'm being petty. Yes, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, I have some cake pops here. Okay, so they, they've been chilling here. They're at room temperature. All right, and then these straws right here are from Lavender Bake Shop. They're um, kind of, um, I don't know, what, what are these called? The ones that like have the, I forgot what they're called. Hologram? Hologram? Like, they have, like, pinkish tone, purplish, bluish, I don't know. Um, okay, so when I do, when I use straws, you do want to clog them up with something because air is going through here, right? And it's going to hit up your cake pop, and then it can even, um, if you leave your, your cake pops out for too long using a straw, um, mold can happen in your cake pops. But I'm not going to do that with mine um, because they're... For my daughter's birthday party tomorrow and i'm only making 12 so they're all gonna um iridescent thank you thank you um what was i saying <laughs> um i'm only making 12 cake pops and i know that they're gonna eat them you know they're gonna eat them tomorrow they're all gonna be swiped away from the table so i'm not gonna clog them up but just make sure that you're making them way in advance you do want to clog them up um with usually they put like little mini marshmallows or i don't have any marshmallows on hand most of the time so i just use fondant like i just put a little bit of fondant in there and i like to cut my straws because for me these are too long and my little k-pops like too tiny and it looks awkward so i always cut my straws like always so i'm literally just gonna go in here cut it oh and then i just use this i don't measure it you guys can okay so i'm gonna grab a cake pop gonna set it down like this and this right here is Merkins which let me tell you guys uh, let me tell you about this Merkins that I used okay you guys know that I use Merkins super white all the time because Merkins super white is what I love but they didn't have it at the store so I had to get Merkins white okay so the difference between Merkins super white and Merkins white is that this one has like a ivory tone it has like a yellow tone to it so, and I had heard people say that it doesn't melt the same as Super White, but for me, it worked perfect. I got it because I was like, I'm going to color it anyways. And I was like, if it's thick, I'll deal with it. It's for Emma's birthday party. It's not like, you know, it's for an order or something like that. So I was like, I'll deal with whatever happens. But I was very impressed with it. It's, it melts just as Merkin Super White and it colored just fine. So right here to get this color, I did, I just added some purple. I added Chef Master, this right here. Chef Master Violet. And it does, you feel like you only need a little bit of drops because I'm making like a lavender color. 
like a light purple. Um, but I used a lot of purple in here. So don't stop, just keep going until you get like a really nice, nice purple. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mine melted really, really good. I don't know. Like, I didn't do anything. I didn't add anything. Nothing. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of chocolate. I like to start with my cake pop here for upside down. Okay. And I'm going to do another one. And, uh, yeah, I had heard people tell me that, um, that it doesn't melt the same. That's why I was scared of, uh, of getting it. But it worked for me. I don't know. Um, you guys, the reason I don't, I hardly use straws. They're, they're too much work for me sometimes. I know they look nicer and prettier, but for me, I just, I always charge more because I just, it's a whole hassle. Like, look at my cake pop. It's cracking because it was, it was good. But because I inserted a big old straw in it, I always like, this happens. Not all the time, but it happens. And these are pretty deep uh, cracks, so I'm going to have to fix them or else it's going to show up. Um, like here, it's starting from right there. It's starting to like kind of crack a little bit because I inserted a big old straw and that's why I hate using straws, but I know they look fancier. They look nicer. So, so I'm going to grab a scribe. You can use a toothpick and I'm literally just going to go in there and fill it in. I could honestly, I could have just left it like that. These are for Emma. <laughs> like, uh, my family is not going to like. But, for the sake of the live. You usually want to use your finger. But, I know some of you guys will be like, Danera, put some gloves on. So, I'm literally... You want to use your finger and kind of like just clean it off and make it super smooth. But, that's kind of how you fix it. It looks ugly right now, but you won't be able to tell. Okay, I'm just going to do those two. So I have my cake pop stand right here. All right, I don't have a straw, so I'm going to put this over here, okay? So when I tell you guys I put them on my cake pop stand, they're on this, okay? So I'm going to dip, and hopefully there, it's not super dry. I'm not going to fix this one because the, the little crack is literally very little right now. So I'm going to go in there and do this i'm shaking gently just because i know my chocolate wasn't dry and um when you're using these type of uh, straws the material it's very like slippery compared to like a paper straw i know that this is a paper straw but it has like foil so it's very like just more slippery all right so I'm going to set it here like this and I'm going to keep my eye on it so it's kind of semi dry already and then I'm going to flip it over. Don't let it get super dry or else your K-pop is going to go slanted. So I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'm going to dip this one and then we're going to, I'm going to dip a caramel apple. Can you tell where it was I had chocolate where I covered the crack not really huh <laughs> all right so once again it's gonna go here all right this one's still super wet because Kimberly just warmed it up so my chocolate's gonna take a little bit longer to set so I'm gonna keep my eye on it um, I'm gonna dip uh, some caramel apples So these are tiny apples. I didn't want to use big ones for Emma's party. They're all little girls and it's just going to go to waste. So I'm going to go in there and dip.
and then I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna set it down on wax paper, which is right there, you guys. Okay, I'm actually gonna lift it up because it's a little too much of a puddle going on for me. All right, so I'm gonna stir it a little bit and then I'm gonna get the other one. I'm gonna set it down and my k-pop's already drying so I'm gonna move this chocolate and I'm gonna so here I can tell right there it's already drying like that right there is telling me it's drying like it's losing its shine it's shine so I'm gonna set it down now so I'm gonna set it down right here you guys can see it right so I'm going to set it down there, and I'm just going to let it completely dry. You can tell right there it's still wet. So this one, once again, it's already drying too. So I'm going to set it down right here next to it. Alright, so they're right there chilling. Um, I did, I, I'll see, watch again the comments. I know somebody asked about candy, but I didn't get to read it all. So I'll just wait for them to pop in because they don't... They don't stay on my life here in the comments. Okay. So while these are drying, I have some already dry here. So I'm going to do these. So I'm going to pick the pretty side or the side that's standing up straight that I think is standing straight. Which this one here is kind of, I'm not really liking it. It's probably going to be like that. Okay. And then we're going to grab our little, I don't know what these are called things that we already did so I know that usually people paint them gold while they're drying um I started I don't know what it is but <laughs> I started to put it on my k-pop and then I painted um uh, it's just for me I don't know I find it easier um because I don't have to be holding the tiny little fondant thing like here and going like this or here and then like for it to be moving you know like I like for it to be pasted on and then I can like paint over it. <laughs> I don't know. I know probably they're like, no, that's not the right way. But... I'm going to grab some chocolate. And I'm going to put a little bit on the back. Just like that. And then I'm going to attach it there. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the other one. A little bit of chocolate. You don't need to cover the entire thing. Then chocolate just it seeps out everywhere. You only need a little bit. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna grab an apple that I already have that's dry here, just to show you guys. Um, This one already dried. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna put some chocolate. Once again, you don't need a lot, literally that much. You're gonna pick the front. gonna set it down and then I'm gonna bring out my gold stuff so I I like to use truly matte plastics gold um, I just I love and I'll link it for you guys in case you guys don't know truly matte plastics um, I, I just love the gold from there I just I, I just love it and then um, I already have some there but I'm gonna add a little bit more and that bottle there is brand new, so that's why I'm not using it from there. 
So this is a non-toxic, non-edible stuff. And this is Everclear. If you don't feel comfortable using Everclear, you can use lemon extract. Okay, so I'm gonna put some there. You don't wanna put too much. You kinda wanna make it thick. Like that. And I'm gonna mix it and then I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna see, do I need more alcohol or this is good? It's better to add less and then add because once you add too much, then you have to add so much powder. So I kind of just, it's a little thick, but I like it thick. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna pick up my cake pop now. And then I'm going to just start going with my brush and just painting it. I don't know. I just find it easier this way for me. Instead of like trying to paint it while it's on the fondant. Like I, I, I used to you do it that way. But... This way, I don't know if it's like, because I'm a procrastinator, this works much better. <laughs> um, but I like it this way. I feel like it saves me time. Alright, I'm going to do one more of this one, and then I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to do the apple one. I got a little bit on the disco dust, but can you do candy apples with other types of apples like Pink Lady? Um, I've never done candy apples to be completely honest with you. I had taken a class, but I never done it. But I'm not sure what the question is because I don't know what Pink Lady is. Oh, you mean like the Pink Lady is a it's it's a different type of apple right like this is granny smith right am i right yes um yeah you can definitely do other apples yeah mm -hmm. you can definitely use red apples and um any type of apples it's just the i know they taste different but yeah you can definitely do that i just i love green apples for with caramel it goes like sweet and kind of sour. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one and then I'm gonna um, do it the the genie bottle. It's drying up on me because my thing was super thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit, um, a little bit more alcohol. Where's the cap? Right here. Not too much, just so I can water it down a little bit. If you're adding too much um, alcohol or too much water or lemon extract, whatever you're adding, um, it's gonna feel like you're like going like you have to um, do double coats, like you know, like the the gold doesn't like you know it doesn't come out gold. It comes out like it's watered down. You just added too much, so that's why you want to start with a little bit and then go from there. But it also matters. The, the type of uh, highlighter you're using because some of them suck like this one I like looks so pretty okay so let me attach this one already dried this is the one I just dipped right now Um, I'm gonna grab a one of these genie bottle things, and I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate. I'm gonna I'm, th I'm gonna add um you'll see right now. Just so I'm just add a little bit. Pick the front and 
if you you're doing them as you go the fondant you can literally wrap it but this one's already a little bit stiff so if i try to wrap it around because you guys see right here it's sticking out um if you wanted to wrap around the apple you probably have to do them fresh and then wrap it as soon if you let them dry even if i try to do this it's gonna break because it's already on the hard side so um i'm okay with it because they're just going to be here. If it was for a customer and they have to travel and all that, I'll probably do the fondant stuff as I go and then wrap it. That way, I, you know, it does not going to like hit it and then it's going to break, be super fragile. But I'm okay with this. So I'm going to paint it. And look. It just picks it up like real quick. I don't have to sit there and like, past the brush thousands of times. I have to paint a little bit more right there and there, so I'm do that. right there and right there okay let me move this out of the way and I want to show you guys these right here. So they don't have cake pop dough showing. That's why I like doing it this way. Because if you have cake pop dough showing on the bottom, it's going to seep out oil. It's going to, it just doesn't look good. So this is my way. All right. So I'm going to put this to the side. So the last thing that I want to do is I'm trying, I was telling Kimberly, I don't know if I should add you know, it's like a headband basically. So the little strings that come here. And I was like, should I leave it like this or should I add the head, the, you know, the headband thing? And then she goes, I don't know. They look, they both look good. Um, so let me, let me try to add the headband and then I'll, I'll decide right now <laughs> what I want to do. I'm going to have to kind of clean my mat off because actually let me get a new one because like, que lo limpie. No, no te termino. Okay, so I have a fondant cutter, a string, one of these that I use for the concha. Um, if you don't have one, you can use a exacto knife, but I'm really bad at cutting straight lines, so that's why I have that. Um, I need my fondant. Hold on, you guys. Where did I leave it? I have some fondant in a bag that was a glider color. I'm telling you guys, like, if you guys are in my house, like, help me find it, you guys. Okay, where'd you go? I have such a mess going on here. I guess I'm better be on. If not, I'm going to have to do it all over again, but I don't want to. Because I had combined some of this with some white so that I can tone it down, but I don't see it here. Where did it go? Oh. I'm gonna. Oh! I'm like trying to find it. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Well, if not, I'm just gonna show you guys with this. Because for me to get my wife on and out and try to like make it all over again, I know I'm gonna find it. But let me just show you guys what I mean and then. And then. Yeah. <laughs> Kimberly! Did I drop it? I think Kimberly's asleep already. That or she's ignoring me. I 
No, I had it. It was in a Ziploc bag. I had it, I had it, I had it. It's not over there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to show you, kind of like demonstrate what I mean. So you guys get the idea, and then I'll find my fondant. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to roll it out. I don't know how long I'm gonna need it. I kind of rather do a longer string, oh, a longer string than a shorter one. And you don't want it super thick either, because it kind of doesn't look really good. So I'm gonna grab my one of these strip cutters. They're called strip cutters. I'm gonna press it there, and then gives me strips and then I'm um, gonna pick up what I don't need all of this and I'm probably gonna have to use an exacto knife I'm still trying to find my fondant I'm gonna use a knife to just cut the edges here okay and then I'm gonna grab string grab a cake pop and I'm gonna put here because it's kind of sticky still I'm just gonna do this and then I have glitter and then kind of just measure it kind of make an indentation where I'm gonna need it and then I can just cut it Trying to fix my fondant because it kind of looks distorted a little bit. What do you guys think? Should I do this or leave it as is? This one, this, this one, this one. And you guys think it looks good? I really like the band. Thank you. Um, do you guys think I should go lighter or do you think this goes? I was going to go with a lighter shade of this color. Um, like a lighter tone. But I think it looks good actually. If I just use that. Because I don't know what happened to my other one. So I'll pick it up. Let's do one more. I love that color. Me too. So I'm going to start here and then because it's still soft it'll just wrap and kind of just paste itself on it without you having to add chocolate or edible glue or anything like that the fondant's still soft I use my nail to cut it don't do as I do I'm kind of hiding it underneath I'm going to have to, for for this one here, I can use a little string because it's not going to look good. I'm going to have to do a thicker headband. Um, let me try. I am really bad at hand cutting, though. Let me let me attach these, though, so that way I don't have to do this all over again. I'll just attach what I have really quick, you guys. Hold on. Um, That one looks lopsided. I gotta fix that. Okay, that kind of looks better. Nope, still, still lopsided. This is too high up. Okay, that looks better. Okay, one more, one more. You make everything look so easy. Thank you. 
you like it just as is. I I think I'll make maybe like four with the with this string and then the other one without. How about that? I was thinking of doing um using this the this here like to make some of these and then the other one with the genie bottle but I don't know maybe that will kind of lazy we'll see right now we'll see what I do I gotta fix this again and this is a little too up okay so let me let me try let me try doing uh, a big fat thing but you guys um i'm really bad at hand cutting that's why i need molds and that's why i need tools all right Let's try. I don't know if this is going to be long enough, but uh, we'll see. Grab my apple. I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see if it's long enough. I don't think it's going to be long enough. Damn it. You got to be. I'm short like literally that much right there. But what I can do is stretch it out because it's fondant. <laughs> Without trying not to rip it. I'm lazy. I got to make this work. I don't want to make it again. I'm just stretching it a little bit. You gotta work. Woohoo! Now I even have extra. Hmm. Works work smarter, not harder. Hmm. All right, let's try. Trying to hide my imperfections underneath the little. What is this called, you guys? Pendant? Is this. It's a pendant? It's a little lopsided. Ah, no! Stop falling. It's falling because my fondant is getting dry. Okay? That's what's going on. I should just really re roll it and. Re roll it and. Um, Stop being lazy. Okay. I'm getting frustrated. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> because I have to see, like, I have to see it from here so I can know if it's straight or not. You're going to stay on because you're going to stay on because I say so. Okay. Listen to me. Content. Okay, dinner. Just add glue already. Just add glue. I'm trying to like. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna add glue here because I know this is where I want it to be. So I'm gonna add glue here. Don't rip on me. The last thing I need you to do is rip. It 
And because I've been touching it so much, it's getting distorted. Like here, it's getting fatter. But you guys get it, right? You guys get it. I have to re-roll my fondant. I have to work with fresh fondant. Don't don't stare at this much. Just close your eyes. <laughs> but you guys get it. It looks good. Just take the picture from here. On for Instagram, I'll, I'll do a side angle here. I won't show that side. <laughs> All right. Let me. I'm gonna add a um, a straw. But that's it. Do you guys have any questions? I like to cut it too for my apples. And then I'm going to go in there like this and then just press hard. I don't think I have a board here. Um, no, the Everclear evaporates, so you can't taste it. I've tried it before because I was scared too. I was like, oh, can I really, does it really evaporate? And then I tasted it and I can't taste it, so. Can you brush the fondant with water to fix it? Yeah, you can. You can definitely, look at, uh, what happens to me is that when I add water, I've always had bad luck with water with fondant. I make it too gooey and, and it gets too soft and it just leaves like, the blue marks from the water, like the fondant, the color. So I, I don't use water, but you can definitely can. People that have like, you know, if you, you're familiar with using water and fondant, then go for it, yeah. i rather use um, chocolate or the edible glue. It's less messy for me than using water because I think I'm adding too much. Okay, but any other questions? So I have this one, I have to re-roll fondant, but, um, this is the other one that I have. The... I probably what I've wanted to do. Hi, Joshua. What I probably want I wanted to do is kind of drizzle chocolate because right here it looks a little too plain for me. Um, so I'm scared to take it off because it's probably going to make a hole. And I'm going to end up ripping my fondant and all that. But um, I'll probably drizzle the rest. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Because it looks a little too plain. Alright, um, I have to finish these, um, these apples and these cake pops and I just have to do my sugar cookies and OMG, I regret. Um, let me show you the cookies. I have, I have, there's nothing done with the cookies, but let me show you what I'm not looking forward to. Have them in here. So, uh -oh. I have a, um, the eight, and then I'm going to write eight on it. And then I just did the crown, and I know Jasmine does not wear, like, a crown, but it's a princess party, so we're doing princess. This one. I'm only doing four, and I'm, like, already dreading it. Um, I already drew, you know... The you know where I have to put the royal icing I already drew on it, but just looking at it I'm like oh, oh like I don't want to, <laughs> and I'm only doing four. So if you don't end up seeing these on my table, um, you know why. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I'm gonna finish all of this work. And um, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys learned something today. And I'm um, sending you all the positive vibes for those that are working. How long do you wait for the cookies to dry? Um, it literally takes a good eight hours for the cookies to entirely dry. I do have a dehydrator. And um, honestly, part of me wants to just do it in the morning. Like, just do it in the morning. Because the party starts till like 2 o'clock. And I'm like... I'll have it start in the morning. They'll have eight hours to dry. But I was like, no, you have to get it done tonight. <laughs> okay, bye, you guys. I'll see you guys next time.